Center for Disease Control are fully committed to testing every piece of romaine lettuce in the state of California until we are 100% certain that we have this crisis contained. Great. Is that all, sir? Yes. Jessica, please uh, send that out to the press and all wire services as soon as possible. Right away, sir. Thank you. No! 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 Sir, I'm so sorry. They just said they had an appointment and then they barged right in. Rosemary, that's fine. That's completely all right. I can take it from here. Sir, how can I help you? You can tell me what your problem is. Oh, yeah. well, my, my problem? Oh, maybe the fact that your ass is about to get kicked is your problem. Oh, 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 oh. oh. am I going to oh. step in here, sir? You know, I played field hockey in college. Okay, oh. jump. No, 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 okay. step in. Okay. There's Fuck. nothing. I don't understand what the whole hostility is about here, but we can do this without that. <laughs> just, sir, what is your problem? Oh, I don't have a problem. It's your problem with me. Uh, I, you my, I don't understand what you're talking about. Oh, really? Why don't you refresh his memory, hon? Uh, refresh his memory. Yes, ma'am, please. Sure. Oh, no. All right. Excuse me. So, I go into a grocery store to pick up some risotto for dinner, and they tell me I'm not welcome there. And I say, all right, well, whatever, forget about it. I go to a different grocery store to pick up some cannolis for dessert, and they tell me I'm not welcome there. And I say, ah, whatever, forget about it. So I go to a restaurant to get some minestrone, and they tell me I'm not welcome here! And I said, that's it! So I crack some heads, bada boom, bada bing, and they tell me that the CDC told them to avoid me. So I want to know what is your problem with me? Sir, what does this, that hat makes no sense, this has nothing to do with us, we are the CDC. Yeah. We deal with health crises, not, not, not choosing who gets banned from restaurants or grocery stores. Well, then why has every food-related establishment I go to said that the CDC told them to avoid me, Salvatore Minella? Uh. <laughs> Hang on, wait. <laughs> wait, your, your name is... Um... Salvatore What? What's funny? It's not funny. What's going on? It's not funny. It's funny. But What's Jessica, going on? Am I clown to you? Do I amuse you? You know, Jessica, um, uh, before you get that off there, could you add this to the story as well? Okay, you need to... Yeah. Isn't anyone going to get their ass kicked? <laughs> Tonight on TMI, Parades Get Gay, Witches Get Lit, and Singers Get Trunk. All that and music by Deshaun Thompson, tonight on TMI. Wow, I cannot believe that tonight is our last show. Well, I could, I could believe it if it was our last show, which it's not. Yeah, next week is the last show of the year, JP. No, 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 Pete and the writers, they took me into their office and said, Whoa, hold on a second. Now I know you're wrong. <laughs> Where would our show get an office? I, I, I mean, it was kind of weird that there was a urinal in the office. Yeah, yeah. now it makes sense. But, 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 but anyways, you know, they, they took me to the office and they sat me down. Okay, and they sat you down on what? On a toilet. Oh. Mm. That was not an office. Mm. We already established that, yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, well, they took me into the room, right? They sat me down and said, JP, tonight is our last show. Wait, hold on. Did they say, JP, tonight is our last show? Yeah, they were talking and talking. They said, JP, tonight is y your, your, our, your, mm, yeah. your, oh, your last show. Well, that clears it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, poop. Okay, I. I guess it was nice knowing y'all, even though I never really took the time to know your names. <laughs> That's okay, Juan. It was nice working with you, too. Oh, the J stands for Jose. Okay, thanks, Juan. <laughs> okay, let's get this show started. The sooner we get this rolling, the sooner I can get back to being sad. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be my first choice, buddy, but hey, it's your last show, so I guess it's viewer's choice. Am I right? I don't get that phrasing. All right, so, so what stories do we have this week? Okay, so did you guys hear how crazy the housing situation is here in LA. How crazy is it? Okay, don't do that. No. It's so crazy actually that people are using this company to rent out a fraction of an apartment as cohabitants. Don't you mean roommates? No, no, no. It's so much worse. They're actually renting out 
a percentage of an apartment based on square foot. So someone could, in hypothetical, rent out 50 square feet of an apartment. If you had the money, yes. Well, I'm an actor in LA, so no. <laughs> Well, this week was actually, I'm sorry, last week was a historic week for women at Medieval Times. Oh, oh why? Did a, did a female make it through an entire performance without being called a wench? <laughs> no, that would never happen. No, so for the first time in their 35-year existence, Medieval Times now has a queen character that presides over all of the festivities. Mm -hmm. Do they call her a wench? Yeah, probably. Oh. Yeah, but I mean, you know, baby steps. <laughs> Hey ye, hey ye, I am here too far going on a run to in and out for burgers. Who would care to partake in such a treat? Don't mind is, here speak of in and out burger. It is so, so Rick, I am here too far going on a burger run. Cool. Oh, I shall have a double-double animal style. You want fries too, or? Nay, the fries in and out are colder than a Scottish Highlands winter. <laughs> <laughs> I would also like to partake in this burger festivities. One single burger protein style. Tis the time of year one must watch one in a corset. <laughs> <laughs> and a Diet Coke, please. Yeah. <laughs> As you wish, my lady. <clears throat> all rise in the presence of King Gary, Lord of all he surveys from Huntington Beach to Anaheim. <laughs> you may sit. Uh, dude, well, we're already standing and there's no chairs. You may sit. Oh. I was about to commence on a burger run. Ah, well, your king would sing much praise for you if you were to fetch him a single burger, Flying Dutchman style, as I am one fortnight into keto. It would be my honor, sire. Oh, uh, King Gary, I need, a, I need a word with you. Ah, operations manager Carlos. Surely you are here to discuss my cost of living increase, which I require to maintain my one bedroom in Bellflower. Without it, I shall be forced to find a studio in Compton or Inglewood or someplace gross. Uh, I would Google rent control, but no, that's not what we're going to talk about. Uh, then what can my highness do for you? Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, are you familiar with the uh, actress Melissa Milano? Ah, if my memory serves, Melissa Milano is the wench who starred in Who's the Boss and Charmed? The old version, not the shite on CW. Yeah, yeah, uh, she's the one. Anyways, uh, Alyssa, she kind of is part of this movement, this Me Too movement. It's, uh, it's uh, women grouping up together to speak against, uh, you know, uh, sexual, emotional, and professional wrongdoings done to them. <laughs> wrongdoings to women? Surely you jest. What will they think of next? Asking for permission to ride a steed? <laughs> This guy gets me. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm being serious. Look, uh, well, because of Alyssa, I mean, we're going to try to take, you know, medieval times out of the dark ages. But, good sir, medieval times is, well, that's what the dark ages are. Those are literally the medieval <laughs> times. <laughs> you know, okay, I've read, a, I've read a book, okay, okay? But anyways, we need to keep the ladies happy, all right? So... Uh, there's no easy way of putting this, but, uh, we're letting you go and we're replacing you with Queen Sharon. I am Queen Cheryl of Downey. All hail my accession to the throne. All rise in the presence of Queen Cheryl. Lord of all she surveys from City of Industry to Irvine. <laughs> <laughs> Good operations manager Carlos! Yeah. Pray tell, surely you do not seriously expect me to abdicate my throne to this, this woman. <laughs> Look, Gary, if I had it my way, I'd keep both of you, but we got a budget, and it was either you or Chuck the Jester, and, well, Chuck has a really good eight-minute solid stand-up set that's a real killer in the matinee, so, uh, you gotta go. <laughs> I will do no such thing. I am King Gary. 
I have watched over medieval times for over 600 crowings of the cock. Uh, you know that Me Too thing? That, that's kind of the thing. Uh, no one wants to talk about your cock, Gary. <laughs> you know, either way, uh, tuck it and hit the road because the lady's taking over. I bid ye fare thee well, good sir. Now get on to thine Camaro and bid us a good day, sir. Camaro, ha! Surely thine eyes have deceived thee, for my chariot is a Dodge Challenger. No. Oh. My apologies for mistaking which high-powered chariot you used to compensate for your shortcomings in manhood. <laughs> now, don't let the door hit ye where the good lord split ye. <laughs> by my judgment, a sick bird. <laughs> <laughs> Do thine eyes as well. Yes, ditto, ditto. Die enough! I am King Gary! I shall not be moved. If you wish to take my crown, you shall have to do it through brute force. Okay, if that's the way you want to role play, Gary. Yo, Benny! Yo, what's up, what's up, babe? Ah, security, Vinny. A sight for mine eyes. Off with her head! Uh, Vinny, please show the king the back door. Come on, Gary, don't be a ball buster. Hey, oh, yeah. ah, ah, okay, 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 I'll go. The first, uh... Good, operations manager Carlos, maybe we can talk about my severance. Were you thinking maybe like 25, 30,000? Uh, Vinny, can you tase this fool? Yeah, what? two, three. What? <laughs> <laughs> the stories you tried to miss, I'm Tanya Harris, and this is the TMI Minute. Anna Kendrick created an internet stir when she tweeted that she had forgotten that she was in the film Twilight. Now, if I could only find a way to forget that I saw it. I'm designed to kill. I don't care. Authorities claim to have recordings of Takashi 6 ix former crew discussing plans to kill the imprisoned rapper. 6 9 refuses to ask the feds for protection. Instead, he's going to paint his entire body camouflage. A Handmaid's Tale author, Margaret Atwood, is writing a sequel to her 1985 novel. Considering that the book will be coming out during the Trump presidency, this book, sadly, will be nonfiction. My daughter Ivanka always says, Daddy, nobody respects women more than you, Daddy. Starbucks announced that customers will no longer be able to use their free Wi-Fi to watch porn. Homeless people making porn in their restrooms? That's still okay. Ted Cruz has been growing a beard since his midterm election. In all these years, we thought it was his wife who was the beard. Oh, oh. When a story breaks in Hollywood, we'll be there with the crazy glue. All right, guys, here we are. My first apartment in LA. Well, honey, this is a wonderful studio yeah. apartment. Um, I just love that sunshine coming in through the window. Yeah, it's a really yeah. nice place. Hey, kiddo. Yeah. Who are all these people? Oh, well, you know, the rent in Los Angeles is so gosh darn high, so we actually just split up the space in four by four squares, and we split up all the bills. Uh, yeah, so these are my roommates. That's Mike. Hi. Uh, Karen. Hey. Carla. Hi. Squeaky Pete. Yo. And uh, this is Lester. Hi. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Jenny? Yeah? You share a studio apartment with five people? What the hell is this? <laughs> it's called home sharing. Be cool. Yeah, right. We, we all share utilities. We get window access. There's a really good bathroom down the hall. Mm -hmm. Wait, this place doesn't even have its own bathroom? You gotta go down the hall to take a dump? I know, right? I was so lucky to get in here. <laughs> yeah, me too. This home sharing thing? It's really hip. Uh, all the text bros say that it's cool. I heard it on KTLA. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Squeaky Pete would know that. <laughs> Why do they call him Squeaky Pete? They call me Squeaky Pete because when it's my turn to use the bed, I toss and turn when I sleep, so <laughs> it squeaks. And when I use it, it squeaks for a different reason. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you all share one bed? Okay. <laughs> okay. Excuse us, everyone. Jenny, can we speak with you alone in your, um, room? Uh, yeah, sure, just... Okay. Oh, uh, actually, that's my room. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. Um, let me just, real quick, I, I, I gotta just measure the holes a little bit. Okay, so, uh... Yeah, no, that's fine. Sorry, okay, uh, just... Come. 
Well, it's my room, but you can use it any time. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, how about we just, uh, here, Dad, just, can you just hold the other end of this up? What? And, uh, yeah, just hold it up near here. Okay, yeah. All right. <laughs> What's up, guys? Well, I guess to start, why are we standing under a sheet? Oh, well, this is our privacy sheet, so we just hold this up when we want bedroom time, so. You hold up the sheet from the one bed that you all share. Yeah, yeah. Well, inflatable bed, we actually break it down day by day to uh, make it more open concept. It's pretty big. It takes up me and Carla's room alone. Amen, sister. Carla, privacy. Oh, honey, you can't live like this. There are slums in Bolivia with you people packed in the room. Oh, come on, Dad. This is LA. It's way more trendier. There's, there's food trucks here. I mean, with living and splitting out all the costs, it's less than like a thousand dollars per person. You each spend almost a thousand dollars a month to live here? And gets window access. Vitamin D, you know? Vitamin D is very important. It's good for the flesh. I mean, skin. <laughs> Can I make anyone a party drink? No! <laughs> Fine. I'll be in my room. Come on, guys. You know when the sheet's up, it means privacy time. Respect the house rules. Sorry. Sorry. Honey. If you need a little financial help, we can spot you until you find a new place. Yes, at least until you get a place with two roommates, max, and a better paying okay, job. Yeah, here comes the judgment. I knew when you guys were going to come visit me that you just judge me for following my dreams. Oh, that's not true, honey. We've always supported your passion, even when we didn't understand it. What, Mom, what is there to understand? It's nonprofit improv theater. Is it all improv nonprofit? <laughs> Come on, Dad. Seriously, with the judgment? Sure, I might live in a space that's designed with one with six other people, but I don't need money. I don't need food. I don't need a house with walls. That's your life, not mine, okay? Yeah. That's why I left Utah, so I could be an artist and embrace my true self. Yeah, embrace yourself. Oh my God. <laughs> Lester, the sheet. Come on. Fine. <sighs> Well, honey, if you really feel this way, we will support you, I guess. If, oh, if you need us, we'll be at the Cheesecake yeah. Factory. You know what? You know your way out, and I won't need you. <sighs> Sorry, guys. You know, my parents can be so lame sometimes. Yeah, so lame. We couldn't hear everything you were talking about because of privacy, you know, um, but it sounded pretty intense. Yeah. Uh, they just were trying to be artists, and if they don't understand it, then just screw them. Amen, sister. Knock, knock. Landlord here. Just <coughs> checking in on my favorite home-sharing, multi-tenant uh, apartment dwellers. Uh, so I wanted to introduce you to Bob. Uh, he'll be moving in as of today. So I'll be cutting everyone's floor allotments from 4x4 four four to 3x3, three three and also raising the rent. So. Get cozy. <laughs> Mom! Dad! I want to let you take my place! Hi! Hey, what other stories do you guys have? Well, this week Dancing with the Stars fans are up in arms because apparently contestants Alexis Rain and Alan Bernstein had declared their love for each other and said they were going to see where the relationship goes after the competition. But this week, she posted pictures on Instagram of herself and another contestant, Milo Manheim. Wow, that is shocking! <laughs> You're shocked that she did that? No, I'm shocked that Alexis Wren and Milo Manheim were two of the stars on Dancing with the Stars, because I've never heard those names in my life. <laughs> uh, apparently, the religious right, uh, they're all up in arms because at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, two female cast members from the prom kissed. Uh, they think it ruined the innocence for every child who watched the parade. Yeah, I was upset too. Why were you upset? Do you not support the LGBTQ community? Oh, of course. I was mad because I hate turkey. Oh, well, I mean, that, that's okay. The reservation's for 6.30. I hope we're not going to be late. Oh, I know Howard, but we'll be here any minute. He called me before he left at the office, and that was 25 minutes ago. Ah, uh, if I know Howard, he's going to come on time. He won't miss a meal for nothing. Oh, I think that's him now. Howard, is that you, honey? We're in the living room, dear. Ah, uh, hey, see, I told you this man wouldn't miss a meal. Oh, uh, Howard, we were just getting... Uh, 
I'm what sorry. I'm just going through some stuff right now. Ah, uh, don't tell me that, super that supervisor at work, he's riding your ass again, ain't he? Yeah, but I, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, well, Howard, we're your friends. If you're having a problem, we want to be able to help you with it. Well, that's nice, but... Honey, <laughs> but nothing. Whatever it is, we are all here for you. All right. Well, you remember last Tuesday when I was having a bad day, and I said the only thing that could make this day worse is... If you came out as a homosexual? Bingo. <laughs> well, I figured out today that I am, in fact, a gay. <gasps> oh, dear. What? How? How do you know? How could you be sure? Well, in past, the references to my supervisor writing my ass have been figurative. <laughs> but today, I actually let him go for it. And it turns out I'm super into that. <laughs> oh, well, honey, but dear, why? I mean, you were always fairly heterosexual. I know, I know, it confused me too. But then I was thinking about it, and I, I, I figured out Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. <laughs> Are you saying that that parade made you a gay? That's the only possible explanation. Seeing those two girls out there kiss, just flip the switch from straight to gay, like that. <laughs> Well, I guess I should move out and start my gay lifestyle. No, Does anybody no. know where I can buy a Subaru Outback for cheap? <laughs> but no, that can't be true. Howard, you're my husband and we have two children. Made the old-fashioned way. You can't make it the old-fashioned way if you're gay. Speaking of kids, after I divorce you and marry a man, do you think the kids will be jealous if I adopt some new ones from China? Should I adopt kids from China? That's very much the gay. Yeah, yeah, it's that Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Damn Macy's in a damn parade. <laughs> but Howard, seeing two women kissing on television, that doesn't make you gay. Oh, really, sir? If the Macy's Parade can't make you gay, then how come you and I started a torrid girl-on-girl affair between the appetizer and turkey course on Thanksgiving? <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Are you girls saying that you gone a gay? I'm shook it! I'm sorry, honey, but Gert and I are queerer than an episode of RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> OMG, did you see the episode where Alaska Thunderfuck got into it with Ben de la Creme? <laughs> Howard! So, the parade, dude, the parade did all this. <laughs> I know, I don't know what happened. I mean, I've always been about the penis. Penis, penis, penis! And then I watched that stupid parade, and all of a sudden I'm dining at Red Lobster. <laughs> what? what? I'm sorry, what? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, was that an inappropriate analogy to the lo lesbian lifestyle? I, I'm sorry, I'm still new to this gay thing. Wait, wait, wait. Let me catch up for a second. Let me get this straight. So, are you all saying that my best friend is now a gay? My wife is now a gay with my best friend's wife, who is also gay because you two saw women kissing in the Macy's Grand Thanksgiving Parade? That is exactly what happened. <laughs> Damn science! Oh, and I'm the odd one out. Well, unless you feel like... No! 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 Besides, I hate that parade. Too many commercials. And the lip syncing Gay. Okay. Well, if you change your mind... No! No! You know what? I think if we hurry, no. we can still make our reservation. Oh, yes! Yeah. Great, you guys will Hi, go. Mom! Dad! Here's Mrs. Murphy, one. Come on, Danny, let's go study in my room. Yeah, let's go study. <laughs> Damn you, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade! You've destroyed this family! Don't I know it! No! 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 Oh, Alexis, I thank the Lord every day that he created a nationally televised dance competition show just so that one day I could meet you. But wait, didn't ABC create Dancing with the Stars? Not God. Yes, but who created ABC? God. You're darn tootin'. Grey's Anatomy has been on the air since the 1970s. You don't think that happens without a little bit of divine intervention, do you? Okay, well, thank you, God, for creating Dancing with the Stars so I can look really cute and meet this guy. Oh, Alexis, you've danced your way into my heart, and I just hope that you feel the same way about me. I have danced my way into your heart. 
It's not how I was hoping you'd feel, but mm, you know what? Forget it. Forget what? Nothing. Let's just let's just keep dancing. Maybe it's time for Alexis to switch dance partners. Milo Mannheim! <laughs> what are you doing here? Don't you know that the dance competition is kaput? Maybe the televised portion is, but not the one that really matters. Which one really matters? The what competition I... for Alexis's heart. <laughs> You're mad! <laughs> Maybe she's Don't tired. you know that Alexis is only interested in me being her forever dance partner? She's tired of the hokey pokey. Maybe she wants to move up to the Latin hustle. Oh, you're not even Latin. Maybe not, but I did take remedial Spanish last year huh? in high school. <laughs> Hi, Alexis. Hi. Alexis, don't give in to his boyish charms, his winning smile, or his young supple buttocks. Thank you for the compliment on my buttocks. Hey. <laughs> I've worked really hard on them. Hey, we can tell. You can really tell. <laughs> Thanks, but still, you've had your time with Alexis. Now it's time for you to move on. What time is it, Milo? It's Milo time. That's when the big hand is on the 12, and the little hand is on the Milo. I love Milo time. It's my favorite time of day. Ah, uh, <laughs> your time is up. Ha. Maybe she wants a new dance partner, Alan. Ha. Someone younger and sexier. Fine. Alexis, I will ask you, do you wish for me to be your forever dance partner? Uh, well, do I have to choose? Well, yeah, that's kind of how this whole me asking you to choose and then you making a choice thing works. Um, well? Well, what? Who do you choose? I don't know. Oh, come on, Alexis. You get to choose between all of this. Anyway, that. You make a choice yet? I just can't choose. There is only one way to settle a DWTF love triangle. Oh, my. Carrie Ann and Abba and Len Goodman, what are you two doing here? As judges of Dancing with the Stars, we've sworn a solemn <laughs> oath to appear wherever a dance conflict is occurring. Anywhere? Well, anywhere on the same studio lot as they're filming, DWTS. I mean, we are super judges, but come on, give us a break. Right, right. right. Mm -hmm. So you are saying something about knowing the only way to settle a DWTS love triangle? Yes. The only way to settle it is with a dance-off. Alan versus Milo for the affections of Alexis, just like olden times. They had dance-off for love in the olden days, Len? Milo, I've spent 27 seasons on Dancing with the Stars, so pretty much anything before 2015 is olden times to me. However, I do recall a love triangle dance-off between Kelly Pickler and Zendaya. So the rules are very simple. Alan and Milo will each take the dance floor for one song to determine who will take Alexis's heart. But first, let's bring out our guest judges to determine your fates. Marge and Frankie, come on out, our super fans. Marge and Frankie have seen every episode of Dancing with the Stars, sometimes twice or more. I've seen everything from Kelly Monaco to Bobby Burns. <laughs> Well, you guys are clearly perfect to be judges for our dance off in choosing our enduring happiness or that of the hardened Trump supporter. I'd say both. Okay, so we're going to get started. Marge, why don't you pick any song in the history of music to get our dance off started? Okay, um. How about It Takes Two by Rob Bass and DJ Easy Rock? Interesting choice. Let's get started. Come on, dear. Okay. Hey, man. Whatever happens, good luck. Suck my Milo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
You're good. Yeah, I got but mad skills. I'm better, and my mad skills are better than yours because my skills are irate, and irate is better than mine. And my mad skills, which are irate, also are spelled with the Z at the end. Oh, my toe, my toe, my toe, my toe, his toe, my toe, my toe, my toe, my toe. Let's go to the judges. Oh, beats me. I have to agree. Well then, I guess technically nobody won. Well, I guess you guys would just have to share me. Okay. Your buttocks is really supple. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back our musical performer, Deshaun Thompson. <laughs> Relaxation ever set my mind. Like, what would I be if I didn't have you by my side? I analyzed the different times that you was with me. Cause all I wanted to do was go stupid in the city, but you was there. Got me back on track and I appreciate it. I said I'm here for you, but I took your love for granted. You don't deserve it at all, cause you a goddess. Your name should be Athena, else the truth is I love you. Blue skies and shooting stars above you. When I dream, I'm only dreaming of you as real. Cause only truth lies in your veins. She don't worry about material things. She got my heart, what's up? of a government shutdown next week with my special guest, Senate Minority Leader, Chuck Schumer. Boom. Sit down. Santa hat on, so watch out. I don't have my Santa hat on. Watch out. <laughs> you guys
got it now, man. You got it now. Thanks, Mikey. Everybody give it up for Mikey the Mike guy. <laughs> Guys, to wear something festive. What's up, Chuck? What? The? Fuck. <laughs> heck. Uh, what, huh? What the heck's going on? What that government shutdown? Well, thanks for asking. Uh, next week, we're facing a complete shutdown of the government, including Homeland Security, all because the president is threatening to veto any bill for the budget that crosses his desk if it doesn't include the. Five billion dollars for his border wall. So, Trump put up that stop unless he gets his border wall. It's a little more complicated than that, for sure. <laughs> Why make things harder until you're ready for them to get real hot? Like, okay, I, I guess. <laughs> so, Trump not signing that bill, vetoing that spending bill, will be a no bueno. Well, it would be, okay, it'd be very no bueno uh, by not. By vetoing that spending bill, he would effectively be shutting down Homeland Security and there would be, well, no one to protect the nation. Mm. And protection is very, very important. <laughs> With all the bad actors in the world, I, I would have to say yes. I mean, yeah, sure. She's ready and willing and naked and yeah, sure, that bareback ride might sound good until you gotta wake up the next morning and exchange that ride for a minivan. <laughs> you feel me, son? No, I, no. Yeah, well, that ride might feel good at first, but if you don't got that security, sooner or later, you're going to be picking up some unwanted passengers in your caravan. <laughs> Money, son. John, can I call you John? As long as you don't call before 11 a.m. Okay. <laughs> jo John, a country's being held ransom by a desperate narcissist who doesn't even care if he endangers his own citizens. And, well, you just want to sit here and talk about all of your, your well... This is probably a good okay. opportunity to take a few questions from our audience. But what about the shutdown, John? Just chill, bro. As long as we're open, it don't matter who we close on. What? Okay, let's take a question from not you, you're a dude. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Hi, John. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Gravity. <laughs> it's fucking against me. You bad it. Okay, you know we only have a half hour for the show, right? Time is but a number. Bye. Your generation is screwed, John. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that uh, too. Hi, John. Um, my name is Stacy from Santa Clarita. What you got for me, Clarita? Um, John, this question is for Senator Schumer. Oh, okay. Um. Uh, Senator Schumer, since you're the minority leader, uh, do you think that you could possibly lead me to John Mears dressing room after the show? <laughs> Miss, I don't think that's an appropriate Maybe question. we can turn it into an undressing room. Uh, yeah, John. Any other questions? Mikey and the mic, hurry up before she screams. Hi, um, uh, Mr. Schumer, I understand that you're concerned about a possible shutdown. Yes, very much so. Okay, um... Well, in, instead of that, could you possibly shut down my father from finding out that John Mayer and I did it in a family way? <laughs> Miss, I think what you need to be is... My administration vetoes all that is sat <laughs> unseen. Oh, John. <laughs> Christ's sake, we're days away from that lunatic in the White House shutting down the entire government and all you want to talk about and think about is your schwanz. Well, <laughs> hey, if that government shuts down, you'd be best to show that I can keep it up all night. <laughs> okay, you gotta be kidding me. You know, when I was asked to come on a current event political talk show, 
with host John Mayer. I thought we might actually talk politics. I'm out of here, you putz. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll just go. Buck up, clap. Looks like Schumer went boom. Burr. <laughs> Well, that's all the time we got for this week's John Mayer Show. Join us next week when we discuss the ramifications of them Dems infiltrating the House with my special guest, incoming Congressional Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler and Gucci Gang rapper Lil Pump till then. <laughs> Remember. <laughs> video of a singer performing the classic song Stand By Me for Donald Trump at Mar-a-Lago went viral this week because he changed the lyrics from Stand By Me to Stand By Him. Billy Ray Cyrus? <laughs> yes. uh, is there a rule about vomiting on stage? Uh, yeah, I think it's frowned upon. All right, I'm just going to swallow it back up then. Yep, that's what I do all the time. Uh, well, in other news, a uh, recent study has shown that there has been an incredible increase in the amount of people in the U.S. who identify themselves as witches, uh, with millennials being the age group that gravitates the most towards the practice. Yeah, well, you know, when you start with yoga, there's only so much further down you can go. <laughs> Campations are so canceled. Oh my gosh, Hannah, that is so trill of you to say. <laughs> Gucci. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's just like everybody wants to be Wicca these days, but personally, I just think they're wickety wickety whack. Oh my gosh, Hundo P. <laughs> <It's> terrible. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, don't look now. Connor and his squad just rolled up. Do I look ratchet? Oh, no, you're totally TD. Come on, you should just go over there and talk to Connor. He would be lucky to hook up with someone as savage as you. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know. It's not like I'm standing for him at all, but it's just that ever since he like became pagan, his hot potion went up like 25 points. I just don't want him to see me looking all like busted and be like, bye Felicia. Mm -hmm. Even though my name is actually Felicia. Yeah. <gasps> Maybe we should make a spell for him to fall in love with you. Oh my gosh, hi Key. Do you know any love spells? No, but let me ask Siri, she probably oh, does. Yeah, okay. Uh, Siri, okay, can you give me, give us a love spell to make someone fall in love with someone else? Sorry, I don't have an answer for your question. Bitch. Hag? Okay, well, maybe I'll just look it up myself. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, wait, is it a waxing moon tonight? Uh, how would we know? I, I don't know, okay, so. Oh, do we have time to make a clay figure in the shape of Connor? No, girl, we have Ken Bob in ten minutes. Oh, okay, well then maybe you should just go over there and talk to him and win him over with your charm. Oh God, thank God I took my Adderall this morning. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> you can't defeat me, I can power the druid behind me. <laughs> oh man, druids totally think that they're the schnaz. <laughs> yeah, they've got to keep their druid attitude out of Fortnite. The community is getting way salty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey ladies. Sad. Sad. Oh, if I had to describe my new pagan lifestyle in a single word, it'd be lit. <laughs> Bible. <laughs> hey, are you ladies Wiccan? Well, yeah. See, I'm a sea witch because I have mad love for the water. And, and Felicia here, she's an eclectic witch because she doesn't let one form of Wicca define her. I'm everything but nothing at all. Whoa. <laughs> that's totally on flex. <laughs> totally. Yeah, Felicia. Hey, Connor. <laughs> I didn't realize you were so woke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why don't you come over to my crib on Friday night? You know, my parents are going to be out. We can do some incantations together. <laughs> That'd be really chill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
What do you have to have us deal with a man? Whoa. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I didn't see a property ad t-shirt on Connor. Oh, damn, she just blew up your spot, Agatha. You should cast a spell on her raggedy ass. You're right. Bubble, bubble, bubble! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. Ladies, that was a tad aggressive. Just chill. <laughs> no need to cast spells on my behalf, ladies. Listen. You know my pagan lifestyle means I can't be tied down to any single one lady. Yeah, Connor's pagan lifestyle affords him a hedonistic outlook on love. <laughs> That's true, and yo, it's not my fault. It's the way my pagan ancestors wanted it. You girls are just gonna have to learn to share. Well, if you put it that way, okay. Yeah. If I must. You must. All right. How about we bail and brood over our coven? Okay, okay, that sounds chill. Yeah. Later, Hannah. Bye, Felicia. Oh, but yeah. not, but not like in the bad way. Just yeah, I know it's my yeah. name. Yeah. <laughs> Later, bro. See ya, Kata. Hey, Hannah. You ever think about starting your own brood? Yeah. No. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hey, Marnie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Sean Thompson. Genocide, no suicide, I'm too alive. No time to shuck and jive, make up your mind. They feel my vibe, they see my blind, they criticize. But if you're with me, you gotta read between the lines. You got to be hypnotized. You got to be out of your mind. You got to be playing your games. If you still think you're running the game, you got to be in denial. You got to be in denial to me. You got to be on the side. If you still think you're running the game, I promise they try to take it all from me. I promise they try to steal my joy from me. My hate was a day one, yeah, they been a hundred. How you gon' stop the keep a yin hitting on nothing? People that's leaving for a gene, they need some Jesus. Say that! No one destined for greatness will stop their hating. No, yeah! And I got something to tell you about yourself, man. You don't wanna be real, but you wanna wanna get down. And I know they wanna get rid of me. I know they want to get rid of me And I know they want to take my flow Tell them, tell them they gotta go And I know they want to give it down And I know they want to kick me out And I know they want to take my flow Tell them, tell them they gotta go Ambitious with bitches, they got to listen, just listen Waste my time with decisions that you gon' speak in existing Back, back in the day, I had to fight to make a way had to feed my family, had to get a solid place. I was performing on the streets to get my money up for weeks. If I wanted best belief, I wasn't right to last a seat. Floating high and then some back. Then I gotta do it right. Then my cool is cold as ice. Then my cool is cold as ice. Freeze! You got to be hypnotized. You got to be out of your mind. You got to be playing your games. And you still think you're running the game. You got to be on the side. If you still think you're running the game. You got to be on the side. If Caliente. Well, saying it in Spanish has piqued my interest. 
something in the exact same thing? <laughs> what about them just makes them sound so in fuego? <laughs> the question isn't what is in fuego about them, it's what isn't in fuego about them. Now, let me ask you, what are the kids listening to these days? No, that's easy. Kids today uh, like pop ballads about how they're misunderstood and no one's listening to them, mumbling rap, and then um, electronic dance for when they're on drugs. Exactly. Now, my new band combines all of those elements together with an extra hook that will appeal to 35 to 42 percent of the American electorate, depending on which polls you understand. Polls? Mm. Tell me more. So. I'm not going to tell you, big boy. I'm going to show you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Trump Trio, American middle class's favorite new band. Hey, hey, I got a beach out here in Palm Beach. International reach. White House in D.C. The best economy. Stop market popping higher. Popping, popping because of me. Employment dropping down. Dropping, dropping because of me. So, I would love to tell you what I think about the group, but I don't know what the hell I just saw. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Either uh, the answer is no, or my cold medication is messing with my higher brain function. I'm only on essential oils, but I'm really confused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm high as a kite, so nothing makes sense to me right now. Well, let me explain. You can try, I'm still not going to understand. I'm like really high. <laughs> The Trump Trio is the world's first music group dedicated solely to Donald Trump and his supporters. Uh, isn't that what country music is for? <laughs> Some, but not all. See, the Trump Trio literally only sings the praises of Donald Trump to some of today's hottest hits. Like this one! Clap. Clap louder for your president. Gonna build that wall. Got him in the White House. Yo. Mississippi, show you love me. Go a voting for the candidates. I tell you, support me. My agenda. If you don't, then then you know that you're gonna lose. Okay. okay uh, sure. I, I think I'm starting to understand. You're taking some of the, the biggest hits of the last few years, yes. and you're uh, you're mixing it with lyrics that offer potentially polarizing support for the current president of the United States. <laughs> yes. Yes. So hold on, though. Hold on. Who else is really hungry? Uh, yeah, I don't see how this is going to work. Well, listen, maybe not everybody is a fan of Donald Trump yet, but imagine if we combine Donald Trump's white supremacist, hate-filled, race-baiting, violence-inducing, misogynistic, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, transphobic rhetoric with the high-energy dance pop of Justin Timberlake's Can't Stop the Feeling. <laughs> We've got illegals heading toward our land. I sent the army down to stop the caravan. To gas the women, to gas the guys. Let's see them climb a fence if they can't use their eyes. I got the Senate in my pocket. I got the Congress for a few weeks. Grab the Christians by the Whoa, we got it, we got it, we got it. We got it. Or maybe this one. Why don't we just meet in Mar-a-Lago? Okay, okay, we get it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm seeing a lot for the kids to like, but what about the older folks who make up 99% of Trump supporters? Excellent question. For them, we have such classic hits as Everybody wants to rule the world, but I actually do, so get the hell out of my country. <laughs> Never gonna give you up, but instead of being a dance pop hit about enduring love, it's about the 34% of white America who will never give up their support of the current administration. <laughs> and backed by the USSR, which I think is fairly self-explanatory. <laughs> so what do you say, do we have a deal? We say yes. Can we please get some damn food? I am starving. Sure. <laughs> really high. Yeah, I could eat. I'm on a cleanse, but I'd love to watch. You know, uh, Shecky, I think you've got yourself a deal. Hey, hang on, hang on a second. Shecky, what do you, what do you have for the, uh, the Latino then? Oh, well, they do a fantastic version of Despacito. Wow, what horrific uh, Trump subject is that about? Oh, uh, none. It's just completely in English. <laughs> Everybody, Everybody. 